The only thing that is real about yesterday's hotly partisan impeachment of President Trump is the damage that it does to future presidents, and by extension, the republic itself. The very predicate for the impeachment inquiry, spearheaded by California Democrat Adam Schiff, is a nothing burger, and most Americans know it. The whistleblower complaint that Trump withheld military aid to Ukraine in return for Ukraine launching a politically damaging investigation into the action of Joe Biden's son is all contrived. It isn't real. It is now known that this whistleblower, a rabid anti-Trump bureaucrat partisan, coordinated his whistleblowing with Adam Schiff. Trump trumped the whistleblower by unexpectedly releasing the transcript of the allegedly offending phone call with Ukraine's president. The public yawned. All the Dems tried to whip up public sentiment. They even focus grouped quid pro quo versus bribery and landed on bribery as the prime offense. Until they didn't. Bribery is not even mentioned in the two articles of impeachment they passed yesterday. The prayerful solemnity of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi isn't real. It's a pose. The grave invocation of the high ideals of the Founding Fathers isn't real. References to oaths and the rule of law and duty to the Constitution are all hollow and contrived. On all other days, Democrats dismiss the Founding Fathers as slave-owning white supremacists. Damage to Donald Trump isn't real. Even as the impeachment vote in the House was being taken, the president was playing to a packed arena in Battle Creek, Michigan. The whole thing is a crock, and the Dems know it. The only real crime lies in their continued pursuit of it. That's my word, what's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter, at Paul Gleiser.